It is important to know that the kinetic energy of a moving object increases in proportion to the square of its speed. Therefore, a street rider traveling at the legal limit can carry up to 12 times the amount of kinetic energy that even the world's most strict standard requires. Imagine a wall suddenly appearing in front of the helmet while traveling at 65 miles per hour. Hitting this wall directly while carrying such tremendous kinetic energy, it is easy to imagine that no helmet can be expected to manage such direct impact energy. However, many riders have experienced similar high-speed impacts and survived. We believe we may have a clue as to how such tremendous impacts can be survivable. Our rider, again traveling at 65 miles per hour, parts company with his motorcycle. As he falls, most of his kinetic energy is carried in forward momentum. Impact energy is dispersed as he hits the ground and glances off the surface. After the initial impact, our rider is still carrying a lot of forward momentum, which will again disperse energy each time the helmet makes contact with the surface. A rounder, smoother, and stronger shell will slide more easily, dispersing more of the impact energy and reduces the potential for excessive rotational force. With much of the kinetic energy dispersed from the initial impact and sliding, the helmet's impact absorption capabilities may be enough to deal with the remaining impact energy. A helmet with an exaggerated or faceted shell design that incorporates aerodynamics or ventilation as a function of the shell, for instance, may catch or snag on an obstacle at the point of first contact. In this example, the helmet may stop or slow suddenly, possibly much faster than the body is able to follow. Without any deflection, the helmet alone must deal with all of the impact energy directly. A rounder, smoother, and stronger shell offers a better chance to not catch or snag on obstacles, allowing the helmet to glance off the obstacle, diverting a lot of impact energy force before the helmet is forced to deal with it directly. A weaker shell may deform under impact, not only concentrating the impact energy in a very small area, but also causing a point where the helmet can catch on the obstacle and again allow for excessive rotational forces. Such direct impact can be too much for any helmet and overwhelm even the best design. A stronger shell can resist deformation and allow the helmet to glance off the obstacle, again diverting a lot of the impact energy as it does so. It's not something most standards demand, it's something a rye demands. Rounder, smoother, and stronger shell. R75 shape. A rye helmet. There is a difference.